Hi, I'm Fenella Kernerbone and welcome to another TEDx Sydney adventure where we invite members of our TEDx Sydney community to spend some time with one of our alumni speakers. And today we discover the world and the ideas of Dr. Jordan Muin. Firstly, we look at how we can create a more inclusive society through technology. And then we're going to go out to Humans, who are the group that I've collaborated with, creating a copy of me. I'm walking around my virtual self with goosebumps. This is a TEDx Sydney adventure presented by Toyota Prius. I'm 29 and I have cerebral palsy as a result of a complex birth. My condition affects my fine motor skills and speech. Playing music alongside the Australia Piano Quartet at the Opera House was a dream come true. And I can't thank Jordan enough for making this possible. <laughs> What we developed with the Australia Piano Quartet and Jess and my guys at Psykinetic, we developed software with the tablet PC and the eye tracking device. Jess can play music with her eyes. When I went to a lot of concerts with her, I could see that she always wanted to be on stage. So straight after TEDx Sydney, we decided to make this happen. We put on a opera house concert and the thing sold out before we started developing the device. A little bit of pressure. <laughs> and it goes grey when she's looking at it and it goes pink when she selects it and she selects it by blinking her eyes. This is the idea of inclusive technology. Jess and James put together a piece for us today. absolutely blown away by, by that experience and now we're going to... Humans is a virtual reality startup. The team that I collaborated with to create the virtual version of myself that you saw on stage at TEDx Sydney. Our philosophy is to be more human using technology in virtual and augmented reality. So how did you do the TEDx talk? We bought 84 second-hand Nikon Coolpix cameras. Rings of cameras. You get all these 2D images all the way around and it's kind of like those pixels get pulled into three dimensions instead of just being two-dimensional and flat and it all becomes collated. So to record one minute of volumetric video, we recorded 84 minutes of real-world footage. Then we had to process that data. We used every available computer in Amazon's cloud compute system in Sydney. Once it was all compiled at about 8 a.m. in the morning, we were straight over to the Opera House with Jordan and we literally set it up before the show. <laughs> to let you know, my virtual self is standing roughly about here. Oh my god. It's like he's like really up close to my face and I'm just like, nah. So <laughs> one thing I found, which I noticed on the TEDx stage, was that my right shoulder blade was dropped. I've been told for five years from various people I should go and see a podiatrist only when I had this external objective experience of myself. When I saw a podiatrist got inlays in my right shoe and then it occurred to me, we believe that this could potentially help in eating disorders and body dysmorphia having that external objective experience of yourself. Even just to be able to capture yourself through the ages or a loved one, so then you can actually go back and relive that moment with yourself. So psychologically, you're not just seeing someone, you're with them. It's a fundamental difference. And what we really like to achieve, our goal is getting the whites and the eye connections. So the neurotransmitters that affect trust, loyalty, persuasion and bonding can be exchanged without needing to jump on a plane, go on a train, in an Uber. So virtual augmented mixed reality becomes as important as road, rail and airports. Oh my God. There's a lot that's happening in this space and we believe that it's a good future. There's many potential positive applications for it. So on that note, give Dr. Jordan Newen a huge round of applause. It's been awesome. <laughs> I learned that virtual reality is empowering people. <laughs> the most stunning thing I've ever seen. Oh, it's so good. It was also very exciting to see what Jordan was doing with Jess and how she was able to play that instrument with her eyes. I think Jordan's passion about technology is so contagious. And I can see so many benefits for how it can be used.